this car might look like it's moving on its own, but the secret behind it is a team of drivers based in an office on the other side of Berlin. The idea behind Vey is that in a city you won't need to own a car, simply order one to be delivered to you whenever you need it. With Vey app, then the car is being remotely driven by the tiller driver to the customer, so the customer doesn't need to search for the car, just gets into the car on the driver's seat, drives themselves to the destination, and at the destination, they just get out without the need to insert to search for parking lot, etc. They just get out because the tiller driver can then take over control and tiller drives the vehicle to the next customers. That took us about 30 minutes to get here. This is the telly station where they drive the cars as they move all over the city of Berlin. And then a television first, they're going to let me have a shot. Alina is one of the drivers. She's moving a car around the streets of Berlin, controlled from here. As I'm prepared to take over the wheel, I can't help wondering if it's easy to forget you're in control of a car. Niemals. Also, ich vergesse es auf jeden Fall nicht. Ich, ich bin mir meiner Aufgabe bewusst, dass ich hier an einer Station sitze und ein echtes Auto im Straßenverkehr steuere. Ich habe mittlerweile so viele Kilometer, dass ich mich einfach sicher fühle. Aber ich habe immer im Hinterkopf, dass ich aus der Ferne dieses Auto steuere. It looks just like a normal car. The steering wheel has all the buttons that I recognize. But of course, it's this big red button. Exactly. What does it do? That's an additional safety measure which they implemented. In case something happens with the session, then the teledriver is trained to react to that by pressing the brake very hard and at the same time the emergency button, which basically will also bring the vehicle to, to a safe stop. So that's me now in drive. You have full control. Okay, put off the brake. Yeah. And we're starting to move forward. There we are. I feel like I'm getting very close to these cones. And here, left. Yeah. Oh. Maybe. It's very strange, the spatial awareness of yeah, where the cones are. Yeah, something that you have to get used to. Yeah. Perhaps my driving reputation came before me, but while I was behind the wheel, there was a safety driver, just in case things didn't go to plan. So Chris in the car is telling me to, to take my time. Yeah. At this point, I feel like I'm speeding around the track, but the car is going less than 10 kilometers an hour. Just as I'm getting confident, Hello. I think I have a lot more training to do before I get let loose on the roads. Drivers here go through hours of training, including theory and practical. Controlling these cars relies on 4G and a signal between the car and the driver. We all, of course, have been there where we've not been able to get signal for whatever we're doing, what happens if one of these cars loses the signal? Yeah. It's, a very, it's a very good question. Um, what we have built is like that as you know from your private uh, experience that some network providers in this corner have better quality than the others. So what we're doing, we have redundancies, meaning we, we're not only relying on one um, network carrier, we, we have like um, four multiple carriers. So if one um, falls, we still have um, three and, and so on. And in the unlikely scenario that all drops, um, the vehicle detects this in real time and comes to a safe stop. Um, and then depending whether they recover, we can resume operation. In Hamburg, in the north of Germany, they are the first company in the EU to have permission to run this tech on the roads with nobody in the car. You can imagine seeing a vehicle uh, on public streets and there's no one in sight. Uh, people like the reactions vary from disbelief to enthusiasm and excitement. And um, what we have learned is that they actually trust this technology when they understand there's actually a human that controls this vehicle and not a computer. Um, and I think this is like um, very important um, because it also shows um, the opportunity and, and um, like 
path paving the way towards an autonomous future, which we believe in. There are still hurdles to overcome, not least building trust in this tech. But as connectivity gets better, we could be seeing more remote control cars on our roads in no time.